I grew up in a Christian household. Um, my family did a really good job of like teaching us about who God was. So we went to church every Sunday and then we were listening to worship music all the time. When I started going to school, I was getting bullied and I had never experienced this before. And I was getting bullied for being a Christian and having a relationship with God. And I felt like God wasn't really there for me. And if I was getting made fun of for having a relationship with him, then why would I want to have a relationship with him? I just started to fall away from God even more. I was living a completely double life where I was going to church, but I was partying most of the time. I got out of high school. I got into heavy substance abuse and really bad partying. I didn't want to feel lonely, so I was filling the void I had with every other thing I could find other than God. I had moved away from home and I was coming back to visit my family and my car broke down. So I had no other choice but to stay home because I ran out of money. The rule at home was, if you are living in, under our roof, you have to go to church on Sunday. So I started going back to church on Sunday, um, but I was still partying when I moved back home. And a few weeks into living at home, I found out I was pregnant one night. I was alone in the bathroom. I felt my heart drop. I was so scared. I felt unqualified to be a mom. So I debated suicide and I also debated abortion. I felt that I hit rock bottom. I was sitting in my loneliness for a few days and I felt like I needed to change. I knew that if I was just gonna lay there and be sad, nothing was gonna happen. And even though I had felt suicidal, there was part of me that had a little bit of hope that it would be okay. So I ended up going to church on Sunday. So that following Sunday, I got asked to join a connect group. I said yes. In my heart, I felt that I needed to change and I didn't know where to start. The first day that I was in my connect group, I had a total thought change on who God was. I thought God was like the man in the sky that was like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I realized that he was so merciful and forgiving and loving. It just changed my perspective on who God was. After being in my connect group for a little while, I felt God put it on my heart to go into therapy. Um, I felt God starting to lift the weight of my sins off in my counseling and I wanted to grow closer to Him. I felt like there was a spark that just lit inside of me to learn more about Him. I gave my life to Jesus when I was with my counselor and I felt the Holy Spirit just surround me. I felt so filled with joy and I couldn't stop laughing. I truly fell in love with God in that moment. Saying yes to God changed everything for me because He was taking care of everything that I was worried about. And even the little prayers like, God, can you just make this possible for my son? He was meeting that. He was going above and beyond to just to wow me. I felt like I had my moral compass back and I was able to make clearer decisions. I felt at peace. Um, I was surrounded by joy and I felt myself healing finally. When my son was born, I was filled with joy. It felt like a little piece in my heart clicked together and I realized that my son is a sign of God's mercy and how even though we sin and we fall away from him, he can turn that around and make it into something so good. Saying yes to God can be one of the scariest things because it's going to change your life completely, but it is for the better and you will see God work everything out for your good and his glory.